The Bank of China has a long and auspicious history, established in 1912 with the fall of the Qing dynasty from the Da Qing Bank under the direction of Dr. Sun Yitzhak's provisional government. The bank served as the nation's exchange bank from 1929 and up until 1949 was the nation's central bank. With the establishment of the People's Republic of China, the bank served as the foreign exchange bank. Well, today, the Bank of China is China's most diverse bank and its most international. In 2012, the Bank of China opens its first branches in Poland and Sweden, the first Chinese bank to enter these markets. The bank also received a license to open a branch in Kenya and became the very first Chinese mainland bank in Taiwan. This expansion reflects the globalization of Chinese banking generally and the international leadership of Bank of China which now is present in 36 countries. The bank opened a Yuan trading headquarters in Shanghai in anticipation of the city becoming the global centre for trading in the currency. The Bank of China's investment banking subsidiary became the first Chinese trading member of the London Metal Exchange during 2012 and plans to open a metals and energy trading desk in New York. To meet the growing demands for private banking amongst China's wealthy, Bank of China has now formed a partnership with the Swiss private bank Julius Baer to undertake joint activities. The Bank of China offers a full range of banking services along with insurance meeting the needs of both business and private customers throughout China. It has more than a thousand branches right across China. The slowdown of China's economy along with global uncertainty weakened profits. Bank of China is the only designated Yuan clearing bank in Hong Kong, the world hub for processing Yuan trades. Bank of China is investing in those international markets and has a very bullish approach. <laughs>